get ready for a really wild road trip across America. You're about to see houses that'll have you saying, how'd they do that? And meet people who might make you say, why'd they do that? I think it's great to bring that kind of emotion and passion into my home. We've got the stories on a show sure to make you smile. We're starting off our show today with a family who not only thinks outside the box, they live outside the box. A box-shaped house, that is. Just north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we found an amazing house that looks kind of like a futuristic Italian villa. Hey, Matt. How you doing? I'm good. Hi, Julian. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Great. Look at this. Th this is your house? Matt and Julianne Schlub and their two boys live in this three-bedroom, three-bath work of art that features 2,400 square feet of curved walls, circular windows, and big, bold colors. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. Well, we've heard everything from Cat in the Hat house to a Dr. Seuss house. Matt built this house just a few years ago. He calls it Villa Vuoto, which means house of space in Italian. A spacious redwood deck wraps around the front of the house, and more than 30 circular windows dot the curved walls. So this is the biggest window you have? That's right. How big is this? Uh, six foot. There's an Italian tile roof, bright yellow stuccoed walls, and a wild asymmetrical front door. Wow! Once you step inside, a bold world of color and curves greets you with gusto. Wow! Look at this. Look at your colors. In the living room, a TV hangs from the ceiling, and two six-foot windows fill the house with light. That really brings the outdoors in. In the center of the house is a custom-made staircase with a steel railing that mimics a forest of trees. This is beautiful. This is kind of the, uh, the focal point for the entire area. All right, so you've got a, a breakfast nook here. That's right. This is fun. Yeah, we wanted something kind of cozy. The kitchen is one of the largest rooms in the house. This is a great kitchen. It's huge. We, we both love to cook, so we, uh, we wanted something that really could, you know, handle the both of us in the kitchen. Now, we've seen so many uh, curved angles and rounded edges, but here we do see uh, one straight line. Right, the beams themselves are, are laid out uh, on right angles just uh, to make the connections easier. Up till this point, you've just seen the downstairs. Now, wait until you see the upstairs. So this is the uh, hallway upstairs. The two kid rooms boom with fun colors. And I hear Olin. Sounds like he, like, like he likes the room. Yeah, he seems content. You like the red? Yeah, he said yes. I speak baby. Right across the hall is an incredible master bedroom. Bam! Look at this. Wow, this is the coolest bedroom. I wanted to create a master suite that would really be a, a retreat for the end of the day. There are 15-foot ceilings, a balcony overlooking the deck, and two really big windows. What is it like? I mean, can you imagine living anywhere else but here? Now that we've been in it a year, no. It seems like we've been living here all our lives. Matt is an architect and designed the house to fire his creative spirit. Living within the space, you know, that really inspires you at, you know, the start of the day and also kind of molds just the way you live. He started building the house in 2002 and finally moved into his dream home with his family two years later. Today, it's a showpiece for his whimsical architectural vision and everyone seems to love it. Wow. Yeah, there's nothing like this in Pittsburgh. Stylistically, it's a work of art. Of course, it's the kids that think the house is especially cool. It has a lot of color and detail and stuff. Of course, you know, there's carpet and, you know, other stuff you'd see in a normal house, but this is nothing like a normal house. Matt and Julianne have definitely risen above traditional architecture with their home. 
and they live every day inspired by its creativity and offbeat design. Here's an offbeat fact. Matt and Julianne never painted a single wall. They just added dye pigment to the wet plaster and stucco. And you watch Offbeat America all the time, huh? Wow, you're a smart baby.